Please tell me why this girl that was sitting next to me, she kept hitting me with her lice braids, her lice box braids. When I tell you I'm calling her braids lice because they look like they needed to be taken out. They look like they had lice. And she kept flinging them shits and hitting me. I think she hit me like four or five times. You are not about to keep hitting me with those braids that look like they got lice. In them. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. guys what's up what's up guys what's up this is not really like a tutorial video this is just a video i did want to come and talk to you guys just share a little bit about myself i wanted to share an experience that i just had very 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 stressful situation experience rather and situation it could have turned into that and also share with you how my weekend went because it is sunday and i'm not really sure what day i'm going to post this but i'm going to try to edit it and get it out soon i wanted to share some things with you guys Ugh. Bear with me. Don't you hate when like you touch your hair, right? Because you know you have product in your hair and then you go and you just touch your face and you don't realize that whatever you have in your hair is now on your hands and it just went straight into your eye. In the midst of me refreshing my face, I guess I refreshed my eyeball. I'm not really going to be calling out any products like, oh, this is this because this is not a tutorial, okay? It's, listen, I'm not a makeup artist, so makeup artist skills here. Got me a little setup going on here in my bathroom. I mean, this is like, you know, this is my bathroom part. The toilet is right there in case you want to know where I go. All right, it's behind that door. This is my, my walk-in closet with a mirror. I decided to put these floral stickers on it and jazz it up only because some people are nosy, all right? When I say nosy, like you look through the mirror screen and see what's in the background. I figured I would come through and just talk about myself. I'm not going for no full glam makeup tutorial. Uh, look, excuse me, because I'm just doing one wig. And to be quite frank with you and honest, I don't really like a lot of makeup on my face, especially when it comes to like foundation and stuff, because I just feel like, like I don't really do that great of a job. It either looks kind of thick and cakey, which I don't like thick and cakey makeup. I hate thick and cakey makeup. And because my skin is oily, I do need to wear like a foundation that's more or less like full coverage because it'll last like so much longer on my face. Not really that great with makeup. And as you guys know, I've been on YouTube for 14 years, over 14 years. My daughter, Mumsy, has just turned 15. And when I started YouTube, she was about eight or nine months old. Over the time of YouTube, I have experienced so many different things in life. I started doing YouTube because for one, I didn't have no friends in, in Schenectady, New York, where I lived at. The friends that I did have all lived in New York City, where I'm you know, naturally from. When I moved upstate New York as an adult, that was because it was, of course, a a lot cheaper than living in New York City. And I had I had one kid at the time. I needed to be able to afford to live on my own. Well, because I had no friends and there wasn't really much to do in that little town, I started my YouTube channel just so that way I could communicate with the world, you know, that kind of stuff. That's the reason why I started, whoops, 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 whoops my YouTube channel. Um, In my teen years, like in my earlier years, I used to love to go out. We'd go out, we'd party, you know, do kind of stuff like that. But I think as I got older, I, it really wasn't like, I wasn't really interested in going out like that much. So I really didn't go out that much and and the only time that I did go out, it would be like, you know, on a date with my husband. I wasn't like, I had no friends, so it wasn't like a girl's night or anything like that. When I first moved here nine years ago, I had no friends, of course. Because my, my lifestyle is vlogging and doing YouTube, you know, that requires me to be in my home a lot. Like, I just want to make sure that I can take care of my family. But anyway, so, you know, I didn't go out much. When I moved here nine years ago, I really didn't have, you know, any friends. Um, but as the time went by, you know, I met a friend and she passed away. I met someone else, which she moved away. I met another person. She just drinks a lot and becomes like very erratic. And then I met these four, three young ladies, which are amazing. We are very good friends. But I just started doing YouTube because um, they were just my way of being able to talk to the world. You know what I'm saying? Be able to talk to the world and get my point across and just be able to communicate with the world. I'm doing product reviews or with reviews or real talk, you know, that was me. And that was just my way of communicating. Like when I see a person in public, I can talk to you and I can strike up a conversation with you just fine. But the part that I don't really like to do a lot is go out, hang out to the clubs or hang out a lot. I just don't like to do that kind of stuff. 
And it's not even that I don't like to do it because I, you know, I get invited and I'm all excited to go. I pump myself up to go. Not even pump myself up to go. I just get really excited to go because it's something I want to do and I want to be a part of something. And then when it's time to do that particular thing, I back out and I get nervous and then I don't want to go and I don't go. So that's me as a person, unfortunately. I am an introverted person. I don't really like to be necessarily alone, but I just feel awkward a lot when I'm out in public. Not in public, like at the store, but at like events or like at a club or what have you. I just really don't like to bring too much attention to myself. And it gets me in a really bad funk. And sometimes it gives me really bad anxiety. My heart is throbbing and then I catch an attitude and I just want to leave the entire situation. That's me at times, especially if it's something that I have to do alone, like hang out. What you like? You're like, how the fuck are you hanging out alone? I'm um, not really hanging out alone, but you know, so I did go hang out this Friday and Saturday with my friends, those three beautiful young women that I was telling you about. And trust me, I'm going to tell you my eyebrows are much better than that. Um, so it was a three day uh, Lago fashion week. The fashions were from Nigeria, I do believe. And so on Friday, it was like a little mixer and a welcome party. And then Saturday, it was a mixer and like you could take pictures, the fashion show, and then it was the after party, all right there at the Sheraton. And then on Sunday, today, it is a glamorous pool party from one to six. Now you can get all of these events if you decided to purchase the VIP ticket. The VIP ticket I did purchase, okay, and it was a hundred dollars. One of those young ladies, Brittany, was a part of the fashion show. She had a walkthrough in the fashion show, and that's my friend, and I wanted to go and show my support. So I did go Friday to the mixer. Me and Tiffany showed up. Our other friend, Tay, wasn't able to make Fridays. I also went to Saturday. I didn't go to the mixer, but I went to the fashion show part. But mind you, I bought a VIP ticket, and it was very unorganized. It was the most unorganized, organized event in my life, the way it was set up and so forth. We're gonna just call it organized chaos. I was just there for day for two. I well, stayed until it was over, but I didn't go to the after party. Um, Brittany said she wasn't going to it anyway. She wanted to go to some club that Chris Brown was supposed to be at. I wasn't going to be part of that either. So I just decided to come home. When I was there Saturday at the fashion show, I really just wanted to turn around and go home. I was there alone, and the way they had the seating, they gave freaking VIP. I had to stand this long line with everybody else. They gave me a ticket and it looked like a deli counter ticket. You know the little things you pull out the red thing? That's exactly what it was. And it said B as a boy, 33, right? So I was like, okay, where is this at? They supposed to walk into your seats. He's like, well, it's around there somewhere. Girl, they had seats, right? And they had stickers on the inside of the seat. So if a person was sitting up against it, you couldn't even see what the number was. Mind you, it was already people seated, like mad people. So I'm walking around in this circle the way they had it set up, like this never ending circle, just keep going. And I'm looking, I'm like, I don't never see no 33. I just see all in a hundred. Then I see my friend Tay and I see her and her man up like in the front, her seat. I said, I can't find my seat. I'm, I said, look at this ticket. I said, I'm not about to keep, you know, walking around in a circle and I can't find my seat and they're not even trying to help me. And so Tay's fiance took my ticket. He found my seat. Seat said 133. The seat said 133. My deli counter ticket said B as in boy. 33. So I'm like, this can't be my um, ticket. So I go back to the front to the guy and I say, listen, you know, I no disrespect to you or this, this um, event, but this is very unorganized and I don't see any seats that say B33. And if this is VIP, I'm trying to figure out why I'm in the back because it was VIP front row. He's like, oh no, you don't supposed to look at the letter. You're supposed to ignore the letter on the ticket. I'm like, excuse me? So I'm supposed to ignore that B on the ticket? Okay, so where's number 33 then? If I'm supposed to ignore the B, because you didn't say that when you gave it to me, uh, when you when I came to the door and you told me it was over there somewhere, you didn't say that. So he starts showing me my seat. He brings me back to the same spot. I'm like, so what is the seat? 33 or 133? And he was like, oh, you got to ignore the one, the numbers. Just go to use the last two numbers of the seat. I'm supposed to know to ignore the one on the seat that says 133 and just look at the last two numbers. Oh, and ignore the letter on the deli counter ticket slip and just take the last two letters. Oh, <sighs> I should have knew that. What the fuck is wrong? I'm sitting there for a minute, and finally the show starts. This group, this, 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 these three girls and uh, two guys come and they sit next to me because you know there's open seats and that's where they were supposed to um, 
you know, sip. Please tell me why this girl that was sitting next to me, she kept hitting me with her fucking lice braids, her lice box braids. When I tell you I'm calling her braids lice because they look like they needed to be taken out. They look like they had lice. And she kept flinging them shits and hitting me. I think she hit me like four or five times. And I was like getting old. I was like way over it. Like, I know we sitting close, but you are not about to keep hitting me with those braids that look like they got lice. And I'm like, no way, no. I turned to her and stared at her just like this. You gonna stop hitting me with your braids. And I turned back and didn't say nothing else. And she didn't say nothing else neither. Because at that point, I was over it. You know you was hitting me with that life extension box braid. And Brittany's part was up and she walked through and everything, you know, it was towards the end because she did say she was the last part. Girl, when this other lady came out and started doing dance moves on the dance floor for everybody to watch, that was my cue to leave. I left. Okay, I left. And the reason why I left is because Brittany was okay. She was with her husband. Tate left with her man like a minute ago. And it was just time for me to go. You know, my energy was like enough. When I tell you I couldn't find my seat, is that's when I wanted to leave. That is when I was ready to leave and I was going to go home. My daughters and my therapist talked me into going out because I was so adamant about not going. All week, I said, no, 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 I don't want to go. And all my daughters kept saying was, you need to get out. You need to go. You need to hang out. Tati was like, you're not living. You're just existing. Like, And then my, my, my therapist said the same damn thing like the very next day, Friday, when I spoke to her. Friday morning, okay, I'm a very... Like, I don't really need a lot as a person to be happy. And for me, I just like, okay, I, I want to be able to hang out with my my girls and have a great time always this is this is what I always want who wouldn't right like I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that wants those things right we want to find friends that are great and valuable and not even when I say valuable I don't mean like oh I only want to be her friend because of that but you know like they're a great person they're not all crazy they're not gonna get me in trouble I'm not gonna get them in trouble and even if they do we're gonna make sure we still be friends like let's not let's not get each other in this point of trouble where we going to jail okay it's something that we can't get out of really but you know what I'm saying like that why this eyebrow always Always look better this eyebrow always looks better than this one like it pisses me off so friday morning when i got up it was at six o'clock you know i got up to um you know get ready for the day and um i had made it up in my mind i was gonna go and that right there would be my you know cue to buy the ticket i get myself together and i was like all right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna just go you guys really don't understand like i get so like damn it's hard to tell to say but i get in like this this mood where when I'm like in a crowd of people, the only way I can describe it is I get mad. But I'm not really mad, but I am kind of like mad, but not at any particular person. I'm just upset and I just want to get the hell out of there, okay? And nobody could even be noticing me, but this is me in general. I don't know why, but I used to never was like this. Like as a, as, like I was getting out, I was getting out. When I moved here, I was getting out. I had another friend, Kenya, her name was Kenya and we would hang out quite often we would go to this club all the time and then we would go to this motorcycle club and hang out but ever since she had a, a granddaughter she had a granddaughter right and she just started hanging out all day I don't know what happened and why I got like this but anyway so you know Friday I said to myself I'm gonna go I'm driving I'm driving you know just bringing the kids to school and I am such a paranoid person about my money okay when it comes to my money I'm very paranoid and I just I'm very particular I don't like um try to spend it on frivolous stuff that's just me okay I always check my PayPal account at least like six to seven times in a day I check on my PayPal account right because <clears throat> I had made a payment the night before for my internet so I get on there and it's telling me, it's like redirecting me from the app, <clears throat> telling me that my account has, has been limited and I need to answer certain questions because it seems like I've been using my account in a, what did it say? I'm gonna have to put it up on the screen. In a questionable manner. Yeah, questionable manner. I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? I've had the same account for 20 years, over 20 years. I got this account when I was pregnant with Nay. Nay is 20 years old. So questionable manner. And all I have done with the account is sell stuff on eBay like a very long time ago and use it to sell and receive money on my own website for my wigs and also receive money for my, you know, for my clients, okay, for my videos. I don't really have any chargeback. I only have those maybe like, Jeez, I've had one probably like two years ago. And limited access is I can't withdraw money. I can't um, change my bank account. I can't use my debit card. 
I can't pay for things online. The only things I can fucking do is I can receive money and put money in there, but I can't do anything. So basically you can just put money in there, but I can't use it. I had to do like three different things, I think. One was some, one of them was to upload my photo ID, which I did. The other one was to upload the bank statement that is attached to my PayPal account, my bank statement, which which I had. All I had to do was go to my phone, which I did. Um, the other one was to state what type of business I ran, which I did. And then the fourth one was, in full detail, please explain your transactions from July 19th to August 19th, which I did. Said you'll get back to me on one business day. It's Friday, so one business day is Monday. I start looking it up and stuff, and I start seeing people all on PayPal, on, on YouTube, on the internet, how PayPal just seized, seized their accounts and gave them the same exact thing and withheld their money for 180 days, which is six months. And then once the 180 days were up, they then went ahead and took the owner of the account's money. PayPal has a class action lawsuit against them for this. Do I want to read this color? They have a class action lawsuit against them because of these same reasons right here, where they have seized an account from someone and, and held their money for over 180 days, 46000 one, another person, 22000 Another person, 150000 And then they also did it to the poker playing champion, which was 12000 But he tweeted and they released his account. So I'm like, hold the fuck up. They're about to do this shit to me. They do it for no reason. Let me tell you, PayPal froze my account. All my money was in there. Listen, I had a very bad weekend. I don't really like to share none of my my money details with you guys or anybody because I just don't feel like it is anybody's business. But this is very important. If you have a PayPal account, be very, very mindful, okay? They seized my account and froze my account. And I had dollars in my PayPal account, okay? You know, that was money that I earned. Um, thank God I have another bank account, okay? I do have another bank account, a bank account, bank account. And I had money in there. I had such a bad week from that. And I really couldn't enjoy myself like I wanted to. And um, this morning, it's Sunday, and I woke up out of my sleep dreaming that what I dreamt about the whole PayPal experience situation was a dream. I woke up out of my sleep and gasped for air and then grabbed my phone to look and see if what I was actually waking up from was either the truth or not. To my behold, it was still PayPal and my account was still frozen. And so I sat in my bed this morning and I was like so out of it. I tried to be positive since the situation happened on Friday. And um, But when you look on the internet and you start reading these stories and there's, there's, there's proof of it. And then I see the class action suit. So I'm like, there's, they're not gonna unrelease my account. They're gonna take my money. Like, what am I supposed to do? I work for this time. They can't do this to me. I'm gonna go to PayPal office. They have a headquarters out here in Chandler. And I'm, I was, going, I was gonna make it my business to go there. And we're gonna have to have a sit down. I, I just had like a really rough morning from all of this PayPal bullshit. I just started watching videos and figuring out what I was gonna do. I just called my mom because I didn't need someone to talk to. And I started telling her the situation. The conversation started to my mom. She didn't know really what was going on. She just knows that I am I had a lot, I have a lot going on. You know, I told her about my blood pressure. I've just been to the, the doctor. My blood pressure was at 169.99, 170. And that's bad, you know. And then that following weekend, I ended up in the ER because my left arm started tingling and kept going numb. So I, I've been having like a really, really rough 2022, okay? And then for them to do this to my account, and I just was like a lot. It just, my mom thought she didn't know what was going on. She was like, you need, April, you're depressed. And I was like, no, I'm not depressed. And then I started telling her about the PayPal. And she was like, oh my God. So we started talking about it and she was looking it up as I was on the phone with her. And I was sending her screenshots of, you know, what was what was sent to me. I'm on the phone with her, and mind you, I'm on the toilet too at the same time. TMI, I know, right? And I get this call come in. Now, mind you, the area code starts with a 402. And I don't really know um, who it is. And I have one of these spam blockers on my phone, so you can't get through to me, all right? So um, I said, hold on, mommy, hold on. I'm thinking that this is strange. It's a PayPal call. PayPal's calling me. So I merged my mom in on the call. Sure enough, they was like, um, if this is the account holder, you know, press once. And it was like, um, thank you for PayPal. Your PayPal account has been restored. And so please go and log in. Sure enough, it was. Listen, let me tell y'all something. God always give a message to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't want to take that message seriously, God gave me the message to give to you guys. And I'm going to do that because there have been thousands of people that have had their PayPal accounts 
seized for over six months and then their money was removed from the account by PayPal. PayPal has a class action lawsuit against them for racketeering, racketeering, rac racketeering. They are hijacking people's accounts and trying to um, dominate, dominate over the accounts of the account owners and then take their money. They are being sued. 2022, I think, is when the class action lawsuit began, but people have already began to sue PayPal as a company because of these same reasons. And some people have gotten their money back. A lot of times PayPal has lost, well, most of all, all the, all the suit, all the cases where people have sued PayPal, PayPal has lost to those lawsuits. I don't know if that's the reason why they decided to give me my money back or is it because, um, yeah, y'all made a mistake. Y'all realize, um, I've been a customer for 20 years. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. It could happen to me. It could happen to you. I don't know if you guys are very like religious or just have faith in God. I feel like this is the message that I was supposed to give to you guys. If you have money in a PayPal account and you do have a PayPal account, just be very, very careful that you are using the seller's protection properly and not selling digital goods or selling pussy or anything like that. If you're using it and having seller protection, that item needs to be an actual product that the person can touch and feel not a digital item if you have large amounts of money in paypal anything over like five thousand i would remove it and put it in another account but i just wanted to tell you guys about it in case you do have a paypal account i hate doing eyeliner i've never been the best at it i love this nyx lift and sculpt eyebrow pen i love it so the eyeliner don't gotta be perfect, but I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, just if you have an, a PayPal account, just be girl, be real mindful, be very fucking mindful, and don't leave all your money in there. So I'm going to be taking my money and transferring it out. But anyway, so I got some lashes. Um, but that's what I wanted to tell you guys about me as a person. Um, I'm I'm very paranoid. I'm very scary. I'm not very scary, but I just I get really like um just bad anxiety, and I'm not really sure why I've gotten like this. Um, but I've been like this, like basically, I'm not gonna say my entire life, but some of my life I've been like this and then I, I've gotten out of that shell. I was able to get out of my shell for a while. And then, I don't know, and I hate being like this. Like I really want to get out. I wanna be able to, you know, be a part of stuff. Cause like you only have one life, you're supposed to live it, right? Not just exist, but live, like you always say. So anyway, we're gonna just continue on with this video. I I actually went and bought some other shit from Sheen, y'all. I know I said I wasn't going to, but these are mostly accessories, like earrings, um, a lot of earrings, belts. I bought a bunch of belts, earrings, and I bought some of their lashes too. But these look kind, kind of decent, right? For a dollar. I think these are like a dollar twenty-five. You get two pairs, a dollar twenty-five. You know, I wanted to see what their lashes was about because. I mean, hey, they're cheap. Well, I'm about to do a video for my first wig. That's the one thing. That's the reason why I'm doing my makeup. And my dog is in there snoring. Okay, I had to get the glue off of the lash. Do y'all hear pancakes, man? I want to see what these look like before I decide to glue them down. I mean, they are right. The girls was like, oh, yes, I love them. This is my favorite. And like, I don't, I don't know. They ain't my favorite. Like, they okay, but like... I don't know, I don't really like the band too much. Um, I think that was all I really want to talk to you guys about. Like, just be really mindful when it comes to, like, um, certain things. Especially, like, and I just really wanted to forewarn y'all, like, if y'all have a PayPal account, be very mindful. But I'm going to end this video because this has been long enough. And, like, um, I'm going to do a wig tutorial. So I'm going to just end this. Y'all can see the finished look in the wig tutorial. It's in my first wig tutorial. I just really want to come through and talk to you guys. That was it while I get ready. But no, let me let me not say bye, you know. But if you guys um, if you guys have any suggestions, okay. Let's see. How do I say this? Um, if you have any ideas, suggestions of how you can, I just know that I'm a person who likes to be secluded a lot. Okay, I like to be away from a lot of people a lot, and that's me. Um, but I do want to be a part of things as well. So if you guys have any ideas and suggestions that might benefit me. Let me know. You know, I'm, I'm always open to hearing what someone has to tell me and it's positive. Uh, I, I definitely am open to that. I just, you know, I try to tell my kids that I am enjoying my life. They just don't seem to understand that. It doesn't take a lot for me to be happy. You know, I do need to get out more. I do understand that. Look, I'm trying to survive, okay? Like everybody else. But just think about what I said when it comes to PayPal, you know, and think about what I said in general. And I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> Like an ocean, the way you 
touching me must be emotion The way it's meant to be, all the emotions Spinning in my head, feels like an ocean Maybe there ain't nobody like you 